Brandy broke, the sim who we all felt bad for at some stage. With two kids and one on the way, broke just like their family name suggests, poor Brandy got dealt a bad hand. However, speculations and rumors have her viewed in a whole other light. Why did they have so many expensive things in the house? What happened to her husband? Did she have a life insurance policy out on him? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims Lore. Today we're looking at Brandy Broke and her financial situation. Now I have a video on the Brokes, specifically the whole Skip Broke thing, so if you haven't seen that you can watch it here. I'll leave a link down below as well. I think I might update that at some stage because I have discovered a few things, but that will come a bit later. For now, grab your snacks, drinks. Don't forget to subscribe and like this if you enjoyed it, and let's get straight into the drama. Brandy's history and background always fascinated me personally. She is the daughter of OG Sims Bob and Betty Newby. Alongside the fan favorite Bella and Mortimer Goth, the Newbies are even more OG. They're the family I played with first, so that's how my first Sims experience started, and a lot of other people started that way as well. You begin the game by being shown the ropes through the newbie family. Now, maybe you guys were more independent back then and ignored the big arrow encouraging you to start with the newbies. But I was a terrified little six-year-old, so the tutorial family is how my Sims journey began. Just like their name suggests, they just moved to the neighborhood and are introduced to us as a married couple who need our help to get comfortable in their new home. Now, because The Sims 1 is 25 years before The Sims 2, Bob and Betty didn't have their daughter Brandy yet as part of their household. However, in The Sims 2, there she is, a pregnant widow with two kids to look after as well, living in a trailer-like house. Because you can't have trailers in The Sims 2, the creators heavily hinted with her home taking a similar shape. Brandy and her children, toddler Beau and teenager Dustin, have lived in the trailer on the outskirts of Pleasant View since the beginning. So I think Brandy and her husband must have been living here before having kids, therefore hinting they never had money at any stage, but could make ends meet through their income as Brandy had a job as a drive through clerk back when Skip was still alive. None of their memories suggest that they moved in any way, so maybe this is actually Brandy's parents' trailer. Maybe the newbies must have encountered some sort of financial trouble. The Broke household starts out with 929 simoleons, probably saved up from her previous job and or Dustin's part-time job. Inside their home, there is a master bedroom, a bathroom, Dustin's room and the kitchen. Bo's crib is in the hallway and they have a small TV and an armchair by the entrance. Brandy is in a tough predicament because without cheats, it's hard to take care of the household. She can't really work as she has to take care of her toddler Bo and soon it will be revealed she is pregnant with her and Skip's third child. However, she has a teen Dustin who is employed part-time in the criminal career. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> now, without using cheats, like I said, this is a tough household to play with. However, Brandy owns a few items that have a high resale value. The double bed in her bedroom goes for a whopping 2600 simoleons, and the painting above said bed, called In the Beginning, goes for 600, while Dustin's pinball machine can be sold for 1700. These items combined have a total value of 4,950 simoleons, meaning the family can survive for a little while longer. There's also a pizza box on the kitchen counter, but it hasn't been served yet, meaning it will stay good for as long as you don't serve it. Once served, I think it takes a day or two unless you have late night installed and you can place it in the fridge as leftovers. Also, before she starts showing her pregnancy, she is very close to becoming fat. And I am taking into consideration that there has been a pizza ordered. Now, to me, that insinuates that there is no lack of food in the home. Either her or Dustin ordered the pizza and somehow think money falls out the sky. Dustin doesn't seem to be on his way to becoming chunkier though, so maybe it's all to do with her pregnancy. Okay, so yes, the obvious here is that the developers made it so the household is not impossible to play. They basically gave us a bone. 
Otherwise, I mean, her and her children wouldn't make it. The household is essentially a challenge for those players looking to tackle one, and nothing more. Alright guys, there you have it. Lots of info on Brandy. <laughs> I, I totally got you. You totally fell for it, admit it. But so story-wise, her predicament does make you think. Where did she come up with the money to pay for those luxury items? Why is the pool so small? What really happened to Skip? Where did she get her starting household money? And why is there takeaway pizza on their counter when they're so broke? Huh. The items can be easily explained by a few things. One, her and Skip had a bit more money at some stage and purchased them back then before his death. Two, after Skip's death, Brandy got an insurance payout. And three, Dustin stole them. So let's look at each theory individually. One, they got it before Skip passed away. We know for a fact that they had a bit more money coming in at some stage in their lives before Skip mysteriously passed away. They were both working and only had one child at the time, so there is a possibility that they saved up or got a large lump sum. Randy got promoted after all, so a bump in pay was expected. However, what is a family of four planning to do with a pinball machine? Honestly, I think a poor money management plot is going on here, clearly. 2. Brandy got a sweet insurance payout. Now this is a pretty juicy one. I enjoy thinking about this one. So I'll go through why it makes sense and why it doesn't. It makes sense because the pool is criminally small. I mean, come on, what is that all about? They were in the process of building a pool next to their trailer. No money, one child and one on the way at the time and no ladder. Was it an accident? Maybe she threw him in for that payout. Although it couldn't have been that much considering the total amount of the items is 4,950 simoleons. So it could have been 5,000 simoleons give or take, but in fairness, criminals have done worse for much less, so who's to know? Brandy is also friends with the Calientes, who are allegedly involved in Bella's disappearance and some serious gold digging plans towards Mortimer. Who's to say she had plans of similar interest? Who influenced who? Did Dina put an idea in Brandy's mind about insurance money and husbands? Not like she hasn't done it before, right? Now, this doesn't make sense because it goes against Brandy's bio. It reads, Friendly by nature, Brandy has often been accused of being overly so. She enjoys grape juice and crumpling tinfoil. I mean, come on, this doesn't sound like a sim who would murder her husband for a small insurance payout. But then again, you can make the game whatever you like. If she's that kind of sim in your eyes, just delete the bio and rewrite her. God, the power we hold. Also, Brandy has little in common with the Calientes. Her bio describes her as a simple sim who enjoys simple things, while Dina is described as a calculated man-eater. Their interests are similar in that they both are super interested in money, fashion, and the weather. Nino, however, is more interested in food, sci-fi, animals, and sports. But she still has fashion and money in common with the other two. At the end of the day, Brandy is almost just as interested in money as the Calientes. So this theory? Very plausible. And finally, three. Dustin stole them. Okay, so we all know Dustin is involved in petty crime. Working as a street hawker, he is basically selling counterfeit and or stolen goods. So he could have easily... Well, actually, not so easily. It's a massive pinball machine. But with the help of workmates or someone else involved in the heist, stolen a pinball machine and brought it home. In his memories, we can see he had a fight with burglar Gordon. This could have very well been about the stolen pinball machine. Now, about the bed, not sure how he manages to steal that, but the art is also plausible. One thing about this doesn't make sense to me yet. Brandy wouldn't have accepted stolen goods in her home. Maybe she doesn't know of the pinball machine, but the rest of the items she wouldn't parade in her room. Now, there is another theory that we can discuss that people have been speculating about since my last two-parter video on Bella Goth's divorce and affair. It was said that Brandy is pregnant with her clone, and therefore she had something to do with scientist Michael, Bella Goth's brother. The theory there is that Michael paid Brandy to run his experiments on her, so essentially use her as a guinea pig and impregnate her with her clone. 
Unfortunately, however, as juicy as this theory is, it was debunked by a Sim Guru in the Sims Community podcast, where Sim Guru Lindsay explains that the mistake with the memories is simply due to an oversight while the cloning technique was used because the data for Brandy's pregnancy kept getting lost. So one of the hardest ones was any family that had to be pregnant because that data kept getting lost. <laughs> so the broke family? The broke family. Yeah, there's certainly a few things that did not go the way that they ought to. Um, one that I remember is in the Broke family, um, the timing got a little mixed up from when Brandy's husband died and when Brandy got pregnant. So there's been a lot of speculation about what really went down there. And um, I think I just messed it up, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> What she's talking about here is the discrepancy in Brandy's memories about Skip Broke's death. When we look at Brandy's memories, we can see that Skip Broke died after she gave birth to Bo, therefore she wouldn't have been able to conceive the unborn baby. So the developers essentially had to clone Brandy and basically impregnate her with her own clone for the whole story to work. All in all, this is possibly a way for the developers to help us out with a difficult family situation. Where the items came from story-wise still remains unsolved. Alright guys, there you have it. Lots of info on Brandy's mysteriously luxurious items in their trailer home. I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know your theories in the comments below. I'd like to thank my patrons Whitney Marion, Papa Khan, Negative Dana, Aurora Grimm, LeMay, ML, Alia Deshires, Shelby Hill, Perlog Anwil, Amy Louise, Carolyn, Whitney, Kitajan the Arcane Archer, Nicole Dante, Artsy Flashback, and Nathan Lim. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. That's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know your theories in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more lore and updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!